Today I'm going to show you how to get all of the Eastern Wind Shade equipment. First of all, this is the first video on my new uploading schedule. Yay! Now basically what this means is I'm going to be uploading a video every Tuesday at a specific time, which I'll get to in a second. You guys are kind of all really spread out. Like my top three like countries for views are the US, the UK, and Australia, which are like the three, the three really far away time zones. So I'm just gonna do a ton of time zones and then hopefully you can find one that's like close to yours so it's not super confused. I'll put them on screen as well so you don't just have to try and figure out what I'm saying. I'm gonna upload a video every Tuesday at 8 a.m. PDT or Pacific Time, 10 a.m. CDT or Central Time, 11 a.m. EDT or Eastern Time, 3 p.m. UTC or Universal Time, 4 p.m. BST or British Summer Time, 5 p.m. CEST or Central European Time, 1 a.m. on Wednesday, AEST or Australian Eastern Time. Hopefully that gets most of you guys. What this means is, well, a more consistent uploading, so you'll know when I'm gonna upload and it's not just out of the blue. And this also should theoretically mean my videos are less rushed. Most of the time I forget I have to make a video, I rush it a lot and I don't wanna do that. So hopefully this means the videos will be less rushed and I can actually work on them until I'm completely happy with them. And I'm also hoping this means I can try doing other stuff than guides. Like something more like my April Fools videos, except not April Fools because it's not April, but something like that. And I will still be doing the Twitch drops and like time limited event videos as they happen. Okay, I'm starting to ramble now, so let's get to the actual topic of this video, the Eastern Winds Jade Set. Now first, I'm just going to kind of go over a little bit of Sea of Thieves history. You can just skip ahead if you want. Back near the beginning, in December of 2019, an update came out called Festival of Giving. This update added several things, including a revamp to the Reaper's Hideout before it was called the Reaper's Hideout. In this update, it looked like this, just a crow's nest and a whole bunch of lanterns and the masked stranger. In this update, we were tasked with finding humble and generous gifts to give to the stranger, and these would reward quite a few commendations. Now, the next year, in December of 2020, the Festival of Giving Update 2020 launched. Now this time they added an event known as the 12 Deeds of Giving. This event had 12 challenges, each challenge rewarding a different piece of the Eastern Winds Jade equipment. Now after the 12 Deeds of Giving event ended, these items were all moved to the normal equipment shop, locked behind a commendation. Now this commendation is one of the commendations from the Festival of Giving Update 2019. Now the specific commendation is the Generous Giving for Many commendation. Now since it's been in the game for close to two years now, you may already have it and just not know it. So to check, go to the Build Drafts Reputation and then Mercenary Voyages. It should be on the first or second page. Mine's on the second because I have some time limited commendations. It looks like this and to get it, you'll need to deliver 25 of the generous gifts. Now the generous gifts look like this and there is at the moment only one way to get them, which is Skeleton Fort Vaults. Now, unfortunately, this is one of those commendations that takes a very long time to get and is one you kind of work towards passively. But basically, every time you open a fort vault, it, according to the wiki, will give you one to two humble or generous gifts. Again, you will need 25 generous gifts, so it could potentially take quite a few fort vaults. Once you get this generous gift, you're going to want to take it to the Reaper's hideout and hand it to the Servant of the Flame. Now, once you get the commendation, you can head to any equipment shop and you can buy the entire set for approximately, according to the wiki, 417,825 gold. The most expensive piece being the spyglass for 51,300, and the cheapest being the tankard for 12,150. Now, just to be completely clear here, there are 13 pieces of the Eastern Wind Shade set currently in the game. This video only shows you how to get 12 of them, being the 12 pieces of equipment. There's currently no fishing rod for the set, otherwise it would have been 13. The 13th piece is the Eye of Reach, and that was given away during Season 1 and is currently unobtainable, so I just thought I'd mention that quickly. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. I will try to answer them as soon as possible, and I'll see you guys next Tuesday.